Welcome to the Modern Skein podcast. My name is Sharon Graff and I am the owner of the Modern Skein, which is a yarn shop here in Montgomery, Texas. And we have exciting news for you. We are very, very, very happy to announce that we are one of the new Spin Cycle stockists. So, Surprise! <laughs> we are now carrying Spin Cycle. Super duper excited to be sharing this uh, with you. As many of you know, if you've followed along the journey of the yarn shop for the past almost six years in March, which is crazy to be saying, I have been on the wait list for Spin Cycle for about five years now. I actually looked back and I sent the initial, please add me to your waiting list email back in the fall I want to say it's it was like the end of September um, of 2018 and then basically every six months to a year I sent them a follow-up email me annual email reminder to make sure I didn't get bumped off the list don't want to bother you but I'm also reminding you that I am here and uh, then in 2019 and 2020, of course, I met Rachel and Kate, the owners, uh, co-owners of Spin Cycle at Vogue Knitting Live in New York. And it was super fun. They knew I was on the wait list, um, but they said, don't worry. It will, it will be, what was the wording? It's not, you will get on there, but it's worth the wait. That's what they were telling me. It's worth the wait. And it definitely has been worth the wait. I'm so excited to share you guys all the fun things with Spin Cycle. So it'll be a slightly different episode than normal, um, but we will dive into all the goodies about Spin Cycle uh, a little bit later. I will say we are, if you go to the website right now, pause the podcast, go to the website. We launched the yarn earlier this week. So there, it may be sold out. I don't know. It depends. There might be some left. But the way that Spin Cycle ordering works is we get our order in batches as it's produced by the mill. So we have our initial order with all the, you know, I've selected a whole bunch of different colorways, different bases, all that kind of stuff. But it will trickle in um, every few months in boxes and... Uh, there's not like a set we're gonna get plump first or we're gonna get dream state first or anything like that so it may be a mixed box it may be all dyed in the wool we won't know until we get the box um, but that being said stay tuned to Instagram for the latest updates on when we do get spin cycle shipments like I said we'll probably be getting one maybe every like one and a half two months I think is kind of what they said we could anticipate potentially it's we'll get it when we get it which is super exciting but to start off we got in 16 colors of dyed in the wool which is the sport weight yarn which is one of their most popular bases um, this is 100% American wool which is super exciting it's a blend of superwash merino uh, Rambouillet and Targi and it's so unique, you guys. So this is a skein of Ghost Ranch, which is one of their iconic colorways. It's so good, you guys. So good. I'll go through colors in a minute, but I just wanted to share that. So super duper exciting. I am wearing a Spin Cycle hat. I'll share that in a second. Let's get down to the regular podcast, shall we? Cheers to becoming... Oh. I'm holding it wrong. Becoming Spin Cycle Stockists. I have my Shelly Can Yarn Snob mug. And thank you guys for all of your support over 
the years that have made becoming a spin cycle stockist possible. So thank you guys so much. And I'm so excited to share spin cycle with you. But first, let's talk about our finished objects because I have two personally finished objects and then I will talk about this hat here in a second. So first off, let me show you this one because this has been on the needles the longest. I finished my Eva cardigan. It is blocked. Somehow it has gotten wrinkled between my house and here, but it is blocked. I need to re-steam it. That's so crazy. But this is my Eva cardigan. This is a design by Petite Knit. I will be posting pictures on Instagram, modeling it. Um, I probably already have posted, actually. Um, but I used the Double Sunday in the colorway Blue Night. Like I said, the pattern is the Eva EVA Cardigan by Petite Knit. I did not do buttonholes on my button band purely because I forgot. It's fine. Um, I don't anticipate me buttoning this sweater much honestly and if I decide I do want to have some sort of closure on it I think I'm just gonna put snaps um, and then put like fake buttons down the front so uh, yarn like I said was double Sunday in the blue night and overall it's a great pattern it just took me a long time just because I got bored with it because that's what happens when I it's a plain I'll say plain garment but it's so pretty you guys and I love this color so super excited to wear it now that it's freezing cold I did not wear the white right outfit today though it's fine but the Eva cardigan is finished and I love it then I don't even remember yeah I think I did show this or I talked about it but I knit out of the new Brooklyn Tweed Arbor Lodge. I knit the Wave of Change jacket by Denise Bayron. And this is so cute. Again, look for modeled pics on Instagram soon. This is adorable. So I knit the size, oh, that's what I didn't say on the Eva card again. I think I knit the size two on the Eva cardigan because I didn't want, I think I technically was supposed to knit the size three, but I didn't want like the 12 inches of positive ease, so I knit the size two. And I also knit the size two on this one because I wanted more of the, not a negative ease fit, but not a lot of positive ease. Um, and a jacket, I like it to be more form fitting. So I think this one is a finished 40 inch bust. So it'll still be positive ease, but not a ton. Um, just like two ish inches of positive ease. So the yarn is the Brooklyn Tweed Arbor Lodge, which is the bulky weight yarn. You can just see really crisp stitch definition, you guys. Uh, we are sold out of several colors, including this, which is Cadet. Um, when we can get it back in stock, we will, but go ahead and check out our colors that we do have available uh, on the website now. This took about four and a half um, skeins, so five skeins of the Arbor Lodge for my size. And most likely, I would say with what I have left, I could have probably done the size three even with just five skeins. I did not add any length. I knit it to the pattern itself. The well. lives, if you've watched past episodes, you know I am very much embracing the hoodie sweatshirt kind of trend right now and really wanting cozy sweatshirts. I knit the Park and Knit No Sweatshirt, I guess, earlier this year and love it and want something a little bit warmer, snugglier. Ta-da! I cast on the Montrealer by Vincent Deslandes by Dells on Instagram, also aka the Dyer of Le Garçon. I guess the head Dyer now because he has employees too, but uh, co-owner of Le Garçon. And this is a pattern that he wrote called the Montrealer, which is a hoodie that will have a kangaroo pocket um, on the front, just like a classic hoodie. It will have a hood 
this is a provisional cast on I will be going back and picking up and knitting a hood I think it's an I-cord drawstring I think but it has this fun little stripe detail you have like one little accent stripe I just used leftover um, from my field shawl uh, Cardi's ochre leftover and then my main body is Cheryl's coal gray and then my stripes are Louise shade um, all in Le Garçon's British DK so it's super soft and snuggly and warm and non super wash and I love it it's also going to be it's not going to be like super super oversized but it's it's going to be a bit oversized um, and also a little bit long which will be nice honestly for a sweatshirt um, so I'm super excited. I have from this marker, I've got to do 50 some odd stitches and then, then we go to ribbing because then it's, or 50 some odd rows, um, because that's where the pocket will hang out. And then I do the ribbing and then pick up for the pocket and then do the sleeves. A lot of times you all know I will do the sleeves first, but because of the striping, this is going by super quick and I know the sleeves will go by even faster. So I'm not worried about getting stuck on sleeve Island, not to mention, I really want it. So I'm still only on my second ball of Cheryl's cold gray, which is impressive, but it's striped. So that's part of it. <sighs> did I bring any other whips? Yes, I did. So for another spin cycle whip, Y'all have seen me work on this for the past little bit. I haven't worked on it lately, so it's probably in the same spot. But I wanted to show it as an option for Spin Cycle. This is a Max the Knitter, Maxim Sear design. This is the Chevronopolis, which is amazing. He also has the Square Opolis um, as well, if you're looking for a slip stitch mosaic shawl using Spin Cycle. Uh, this will take three skeins of spin cycle, and I'm actually using three different skeins of spin cycle. Um, unfortunately, none of them are <laughs> in this batch, but we have three, of course, we have plenty, of, more than three, but we have plenty that would be gorgeous options for you. So first off, this, um, well, the main color is Andorra and in the colorway Raven, which we also got restocked here just last week. Then we have Stay Ready, which is basically up to about here, which is the different shades of gray and black with a touch of brown. And then from, I think from here up is, what did I say, Grumpy Birds. It's a very neutral skein of Grumpy Birds because usually Grumpy Birds is, well, it can be brighter. And then I'm gonna finish off, so this is the skein of Grumpy Birds. And then this is light years. Again, kind of a more neutral, but neutral greens, little um, chartreuse pop. So I'm excited about this. It's gonna be fun. Uh, what else? So yeah, I mean, you could go crazy with All three of these or all sorts of things we'll get we'll get back to that in a minute okay my last whip and now I'm saying whip because I actually cast it on last night I literally just cast on I am knitting the bumpy cowl uh, and bumpy cowl is the so I will have done I will have done all the bumpy things so I did I test knit the bumpy um, moon bump Yes, Moon Bumps Shawl by Maxims here. It's over there. You can't see it. And then I knit the Bumpy, which is the cardigan. And now I'm going to knit the Bumpy Cowl, which is the cowl version. I'm using Twyla Sand uh, in British DK, but any DK yarn works. There's a tapestry needle in my skein of yarn. Okay. Put that back in there. Um... 
any skein of DK works great. Um, you will need two skeins for the cowl because you need about 350 some odd yards. Scout is a great alternative um, as well. Uh, Estate DK is a great alternative. Double Sunday. Pretty much any of our DKs would be great. Uh, so uh, I'm using Twyla Sand in the Le Garçons. And then I am actually using all of my leftovers. I have more of every rose from my cardigan. So it's gonna be really pretty to put all those in. And yes, I kind of micromanaged my stripes, especially on the sleeves. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, I just realized, I think I say I have the hiccups almost every podcast episode, which is weird. But I only ever get hiccups like in the morning. And I get like three and it's done. It's weird. Anyway, um, bumpy. Every rose. What was I going with that? Oh, I micromanaged my striping on the sleeves to try to coordinate more with the body. So some of my, I broke up a lot of the skein, but it's going to be fine because the bumpy cowl is small pieces of spin cycle. So It'll be fine. I won't have a problem with that. I'm still working on, of course, some of my other whips, including the Bolt um, by Max the Knitter and the Friday Slipover by Petite Knit. Haven't made much progress on either of those, but it happens. Come back next time. Maybe they'll be finished. Sorry, a very long trailer just went by, and I apparently have... I'm super excited about spin cycle and I'm hyped up on coffee and I've been awake since 5:30, and it's cold and I'm excited and I've had a lot of coffee and I'm just <laughs> so thanks for bearing with me and my slightly ADD brain so let's get to the good part and let's discuss colors by the way check out my live that I haven't done yet but I will once you watch this uh, on Instagram where I go through all the colors again on an Instagram live it will be saved to our reels and I go over some pattern ideas too for one skein two skein and multiple skein projects for dyed in the wool my plan is to do that every time we get in a spin cycle batch um, to go over one skein two skein and more um, projects and uh, no matter what base whether it be the plump the dream state or dyed in the wool because we will be getting all of them so let's get started on colorways shall we so this gorgeous beauty is one of their classic colorways called leaf and it's just gorgeous deep emerald green yummy evergreen vibes uh, if i recall correctly leith was created to celebrate the edinburgh fiber festival way back in 2018 20 yeah 2018 um, and leith because i've been to scotland leith is the port town technically like if you sail to edinburgh even though it's on the coast you technically dock if you're on like a cruise ship or anything like that, you dock in Leith and uh, there's Leith Street that takes you to uh, Edinburgh and the downtown and the old town. So that's Leith. You know, it would pair really good with Leith. This amazing new color. This, so we got a lot of new colorways from them which is really really cool this is called stone town and this is like bright turquoise tonal shading goodness so what's really cool is they are starting to do some of these i'll say tonal spin cycles where it's a lot of light and dark variegations but you get you still get that color shifting so if you're like i love the idea but that's too many colors to deal with. I just want like one or two. These are gonna be perfect for you. So this, like I said, is Stone Town. It's that beautiful turquoise with a green undertone, beautiful color shifting. 
this since I have it in my hand. This is sweet water. This is like a beautiful coral, a coral orange. It's not like orange orange. It's got a bit of coral in it, but lovely. Um, I opened this one and I was like, <gasps> <gasps> it's denim blue and it's all the shades of denim. How cool is this? This one is called Nicoya, N-Y-C-O-Y-A. And I love it. A sweater with this and like Twyla Sand or um, cardamom or caramel. Mm, be so good. Uh, let's see. This one, I really like this one, but y'all know I've been kind of in a chartreuse kind of vibe uh, over the summer. This is Scranton, and this one has really awesome tonalities in it. Again, you've just got that really nice kind of mustard. I think I think the right name is Pews. Um, can't be certain, but yes, that beautiful color. And this one's called Scranton. Okay, let's do... Let's do another classic colorway. This is Rusted Rainbow. Rusted Rainbow was used, I think Rusted Rainbow was used in um, the Guthrie, the original sample of the Guthrie. But I know Andrea Mowry has also used it as well. But Rusted Rainbow is just all those rich colors and then you can see in here like little pops of teal. Oh, I think it was used in the Night Shift. so good so good you guys and you know what's really fun uh is to wind these up in the store because it's like you see this and then you get to see the color gradient when it winds into the ball it really is awesome so rusted rainbow this is another new colorway this is dear diary so they launched this one just a few weeks ago and it's just for all my purple lovers this is soft and sweet and it reminds me of all of us millennials that had those little pink and purple diaries that you locked with like a little key that's exactly it then oh i'll show this one side by side so these are two different color totally different colorways so this is dear diary it has more of the blue purples in it and then this is kyoto which has more of a pink um, and this is, like I said, Kyoto. It's a little more pink, um, purple, lilac-y vibe, uh, cherry blossom-y, I'm assuming with the name Kyoto, but it's really, really pretty. Then another new color. This is Purse First. So Purse First was launched a few weeks ago and it's a deep eggplant with a little bit of bright purple and deep teals running through it. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. It popped off. Okay, where else? This one is another new one. This is a Mizuzu beautiful burgundies and like rich wine colors and lots of tonality shifts in this one which is really pretty this is kolkata so this is a great magenta uh, kind of that color shifting really love that one. Oh, oh they're so good i saw this one and also did a, a internal gasp because y'all know, I think my all-time favorite colorway is Stay Ready, which is that gray, black, with a little bit of brown, neutral. This is Reykjavik. And this is just grays. Just shades of gray. And it's perfection. I love it. I could do his whole sweater in Reykjavik. And not be mad okay this is another new color that came out not too long ago this is happy pill so if you want all the colors shoved into one skein this is gonna be it I say all the colors 
there's really there's no green and there's not really any red this is mostly like oranges with a little bit of pink yellows blues it's really pretty actually their inspiration photo if you go to their um, Instagram uh, they have these skeins laid out with like gummy bears thrown everywhere and it's it really does capture like a gummy bear and the Haribo gold packaging very 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 on not on brand but they just got it uh, let's see I've got three more colors which one to show okay this is every rose so I used this in my bumpy cardigan and then of course I'm using it in my bump bumpy cowl so every rose really love that this is another really kind of it's been around for a little while so it's I think probably turning into a classic colorway for them this is valley girl so blues with a touch of purple and a touch of pink very valley girl and last but not least ghost ranch so ghost ranch it's just so good so if you're wanting I think this was the original color it used in ghost horses um, potentially or was that wild horse uh, this is what Max used in his fluff version of the bumpy cardigan um, ghost ranch I believe was used well Andrew Mowry's used it like a zillion times but ghost ranch is just one of those classic colorways it's moody it's got a lot of colors but it's not too dark it's got brightness to it it's just a good classic spin cycle color so and I wish wish you guys could see I don't want to mess up the camera but ta-da so this is going to turn into our spin cycle feature wall and uh, yeah so exciting so like I said these are live on the website as we speak and definitely to stay in the know of when we get the latest shipments in of spin cycle definitely follow us on Instagram and of course get on our newsletter newsletter subscribers learned about spin cycle first so thanks so much for being a newsletter subscriber and thanks so much for being a YouTube subscriber uh, hopefully you are and if you enjoyed this podcast note that it is slightly a little bit different than our typical podcast but I guess not not super because I usually talk about my whips my finished objects and what's new in the store I just got a little extra excited about our newest addition to the shop which is spin cycle so if you enjoyed it I'd love for you to subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it hit get notifications to be notified when we have the next podcast coming up and we usually throw up a podcast every two weeks so but it's getting close it's already November guys it's crazy during the month of December I do a little bit of a vlogmas style where I attempt to do a podcast every single week in the month of December so definitely look forward to that and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and enjoy, and I hope you enjoy Spin Cycle just as much as we do. Be sure and browse the website and take a look at all the other new things that have come into the shop because there's a lot. So the shop is pretty full, and we'd love to see you come on down and take a look and go home with some fun yarns. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.